Alright, hello everyone, this is Firefreak57 here, and today we're going to do a fire alarm test. So, I think this is um, going to be a good system test. Got some cool things up here. Um, it is January 1st, 2018. Um, I forgot what number of system tests this is because of um, the fact that I have already recorded several other videos, um, but um, I haven't uploaded those yet, so, or I should say recorded before this. So we have this still here, and there's no pull station over here. What is here is the 4251-20 um, pull station uh, on zone one. It's the only one on. It's the only pull station um, here today. So we have the system sensor 2151. Um, you may or may not have seen this before. Uh, it depends on when I upload it. So yeah. Um, right here we have the. 4903-9104 strobe plate with a, I don't know if you'll be able to read that, 4901-9805 horn on it, um, mechanical horn, the one with the circuit board on it, um, nothing here, and then here we have the 4904 9105 remote strobe. Okay, so we're going to get started by pulling the 4251-20. It's very easy to pull, by the way. And, of course, that will be doing march time. That strobe's going to be coated, so it's not going to be flashing as much. This one is not, and it flashes actually at a high rate. And it's 100 candela head-on, even though there's no reflector in there. Um, it's just at the front. It's 100 candela head-on. Um, it's... Not as bright from the side, obviously. But, um, whereas this one does have a reflector, so it's bright from the front and the side. But this is like 1575 or 15 candle. That one's at 100. Um, and they are different models and they are built differently. And they were made by Gentex for Simplex. So, anyways, with all that said, we'll get on with this. Okay. So, here we go. In three, two, one. set for audible silence. And that's turned off. Pull station is still pulled. Let's give that a reset. With the good old 
Vicky. There's the inside of the pulse station. Alright, so we'll go ahead and do our first reset. I'll come back here so you can see everything turn off. Everything's back to normal. And you can see that's, of course, flashing away. All right, so since there's only one pulse station, there's not a lot else I can do with this, um, but we'll do the test station next. So I'll be right back and we'll do the test station. Okay, so now we'll do the test station. So let me just get my key here. All right. All right, focus in three, two, one. again running that audible silence um, so next we'll I don't can I alarm re-alarm on the same zone I don't know I may not be able to uh, I'll just reset it again just in case Just watch everything reset here. Okay, everything is reset now. I'm not sure if this thing has to reinitialize or not. No, it doesn't. All right, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to test the smoke detector, and then we'll do a quick walk test, and then we'll have to be done. So, um... Just, um, oh, and I will put it on continuous and key activate it too. Um, so, in three, two, one.
signals are silenced, let's go ahead and hit a reset on this because we have to go into programming and change the signal coding. We'll do, well actually what we'll do is we'll do the walk test first and then we'll do the key activation. I haven't demonstrated walk test since uh, new system test one and I feel like we should demonstrate walk test again because that did not come out so well in that video. So one of these switches down here changed it to walk test. See, you may not be able to see it that well. Oh, there you go. Walk test. This one. H, of course, is our walk test trouble. So that just tells us that the system is in walk test. And it goes with that because we still have the battery trouble with you. Because you know, I don't have batteries. I don't plan on ever getting batteries for the system. Just because it's not a real system. So what happens when it's in walk test is when I activate a device, such as a pulse station, it will pulse the zone code. So it'll pulse it once, and then I'll reset the pulse station, and then it'll be done. And then we'll, and then the smoke detector and the key switch will pulse twice, because they're on zone two. Pretty simple. So we'll just, I'm not sure if we'll key activate it. did our walk test there um, you'll have to get we'll have to give it a few seconds to clear I don't know if this one clears automatically some panels do clear automatically uh, some don't so I don't know now we'll do this and it's gonna pulse twice now Alright, and then when we're done with walk tests, we can just flip this to off. And it just goes right back to normal. Oh, and now we have to change signal coding. So, let's see here. You know, we'll key activate it in March time and then we'll change the signal coding. So, here we go. go into the programming menu until the system is reset, so we'll watch this scope. Alright, system is reset. So now we'll go change the code real quick. Um, that way, because this is wired as two wire, the horn and the strobe are on the same circuit. So if I put it on steady coding, we can get an idea of how fast this strobe here really flashes, but we all only do it for a few seconds because it is, of course, up. So, let me just scroll through here. A, C, E. I need to change that to four is simple coding. We don't want that. Uh, we want zero, which is no coding or steady. All right. So now that we're done, we just flip off this. Unfortunately, it clears the trouble during the programming menu, so we'll just have to bear with me. I have to I need to acknowledge this battery trouble. All right. Okay. So now we will do this really quick here. All right. Let me just get my keys in the right hand. All right, so here we go. Three, two, one. This is gonna be loud.
Yeah, that was very loud. Okay, so now we'll just reset. Actually, I'm gonna go back in and change it to March. Oh yeah, I can't res I can't go into program when it's in fire alarm mode. I gotta reset it first. Now this is reset. Now I can go back. All right. Well, first, we'll end the video. Just because I'm gonna go set it back into March time, but that's just for purposes not related to this video. So anyways, that was the new system test. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I will see you in another video.